Hey guys, welcome back to Skill Curve. Today, you're gonna learn how to swap faces in any of your videos or images locally on your computer. In addition to that, you will also learn how to do lip syncing. The tool we are gonna use is called Face Fusion. This AI tool is completely free and the result it generates are surprisingly accurate. You can see some of the results here. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Six stones. Three teams, one shot. Let's talk lip syncing. It's more than just mimicking words. If we talk about the installation process, well, we will be using one-click installer so you don't have to worry about any configuration. Now, without any further ado, let's dive in. So here we are at the GitHub repository of Face Fusion. If we scroll down, we can see the preview of the app. We will be interacting with it in just a while. And if we scroll down further, we can see the installation tab here. And we also get to have the documentation for a deep dive into this app. You can find all the help that you might need related to the installation, usage, or troubleshooting any problem that you might face. So you can always head here. As for now, I'll just go back. Now to install the app, you'll have to click on this link right here. Here you'll find all the steps that you might need in order to get the app. First, you'll have to prepare your platform based on your operating system. For Windows, it includes includes installing git, conda, ffmpeg, and codec. You can run these commands one by one in your command terminal. Once your platform is ready, you'll have to set up your environment. This includes creating the environment for your app and then activating it. Once your environment is set, you'll have to install the accelerator. You can run these commands to install the CUDA toolkit and GPU utilities in order to accelerate the GPU. And then you can run this command in order to install the OpenWiner toolkit for Intel hardware. Once you undergo all these three steps, you can simply clone the project from the GitHub repository. Then you will have to enter that directory and install the application. And finally, you will be able to run the project using this command. In this way, you will be able to get the Face Fusion app. However, if you're not comfortable with command line interface, well, I've got an easier method for you, which is through Pinocchio. If you don't know what that is, you can check out my recent tutorial on Pinocchio and I'll provide the link in description. As for now, just know that Pinocchio is a browser that lets you install and run any AI application with just a single click. So I'll scroll down and hit download. Then select the link based on your operating system. Since I'm using Linux, so I'll go with that. For Linux, I'll have to download and install it directly from their GitHub page. So I'll scroll down and then you'll have to install this amd64.deb file. Once it is downloaded, go to the folder. Then open it with package installer. Click here and then enter the password to authenticate this app. The installation process has started. It has been completed. So I'll open the app. Let's search Pinocchio and open it. Then select the directory and theme for the app and save. So our Pinocchio is ready to be used. I'll go to discover page, search for face fusion here. Open it up, hit download, click install. And in this way, all the dependencies will be installed one by one. It's going to take a while, so you will have to wait. It took some time and all the six dependencies have been installed. And finally, my installation is complete. You can specify the name and hit download. My Face Fusion model has been downloaded. Let's install it. It's going to take a while, so you will have to wait. And it has been completed. Now I'll click on launch default to open the app. Again, it's going to take some time, but not that much. Okay, it has been launched. Now it is running on my local server. So I'll click on this link. Okay, while launching this app for the first time, I was getting this error. FMPEG is not installed. So I had to do it manually. I went to the directory of Pinocchio and I opened my terminal here, installed the FFmpeg with this command, and once it was installed, I was able to launch the app successfully. So now my app is running on this local host. So I'll click on that. And here is our app ready to be used. You can see the interface matches the one which we saw earlier. Now we will explore this app. First, I'll try FaceFab for images. For that, I'll select the image of Mr. Beast as my target file. And for the source file, I'll use this face image of Trump. Let's see how Mr. Beast looks with the face of a Trump. Here we can preview our result and we can play around with it by selecting different models and adjusting these settings. Once we are satisfied with the result, we can hit the start button and our result will be displayed here. From here, we can then download the result. Now, the thing about result is that the face image seems quite blurry and the quality is not that good. So for that, I'll select the face enhancer model as well. 
Now the result seems much better. Now since I'm satisfied with the result, I will scroll down, hit the start button and then download. Now let's see some of the options that we have. First, we have these frame processors. The face wrapper is used for face wrapping for images and videos as we saw in this example. And the face enhancer is used to enhance the face as we saw here. As for the frame colorizer, if your target image or video is black and white, this processor can add colors to it. Then we have lip syncer. We will use that in a while. It is used for lip syncing. Then you also have the face debugger and frame enhancer processors. And if you scroll down, we have these frame enhancer models. Then we can control the blood intensity from here. Higher the value means higher enhancement, but it will look less natural. And a lower value means less enhancement, but more natural look. So you can adjust that as per your desire. Then you can select the face swapper model from here. The InSwapper 128FP16 works just fine for me, so I'll go with that. Then you can select the execution provider. If you have GPU, then you can select CUDA or Tensor RT. And if you're using cloud-based service, you can select Azure or else you can just go with the CPU. Then you have all these different other options. You can play around with it. From here, you can select the output image quality. The more it is, the more better quality will be, but it will take much time. And you can also select the resolution from here. After that, you can select the face selector mode as well. If your target image or video has a single face, you will have to select one. And if it has many faces and you wanna face swap all of those faces, you will have to select many. And if you wanna face swap a single face among all of those faces, you will have to go with reference. And then select that face image from here. When our target image or video has many faces, all of those faces will appear here. Then you can select the face mask type. Normally you can go with the box and if you have some occlusion in front of the face, you can go with the occlusion and the region is more complex region based mask. So you can test all three for yourself. Then you can adjust the blur level on the edges of the face mask from here. Then you can adjust the face mask padding. Sometimes, mostly in videos, you will observe that the swapped face doesn't fit perfectly the original face. Like sometimes it might be covering some extra area from here. Then you will have to decrease the padding from the right side. And similarly, if it takes extra space from left side, you'll have to decrease the face mask padding from left side. After that, if you have many faces in your target image or video, you can specify the face by adjusting these parameters. So these were the commonly used parameters that we discussed. You can play around with it and get better results. Now I'll try face swap for image again using different images. So I'll just hit refresh, select the image of Drake as my target, and the face image of President Obama as my source. You need to make sure that the image or video quality that you upload are up to mark in order to get better results. Okay, here's a preview of the result, but it is not up to mark, so I'll also select the face enhancer model. Okay, now the face looks much better, but the image quality is still not much good. So I'll scroll down and increase the output image quality. Now if I start the conversion, now the image quality is much better. You can compare the result for yourself. This was our original image and this is the image with swapped face. The image quality and face quality is really up to mark to be honest. Now let's try face swap for videos. I'll refresh the page, select this video of Joe Biden as my target and the same image of Mr. Beast as my source file. Now since it's a video, it's gonna take some time and the results are here already. You can adjust this slider in order to preview a different frame to see the result. It is good to some extent but not up to mark. I think it can be improved so I'll select the face enhancer as well. Ok now it seems more realistic and the blend is natural. The quality has improved as well. There are some marks on the forehead because of the hair of Mr. Beast but still it has done a pretty good job. Let's select the frame enhancer as well. Now I think the results will be much better so I'll scroll down, hit start. Once the conversion is completed, we will compare the result. Donald Trump lost two debates to me in 2020. And since then, he hadn't shown up for debate. Now he's acting like he wants to debate me again. Well, make my day, pal. I'll even do it twice. So let's pick the dates, Donald. I hear you're free on Wednesdays. Now let's try face swap for another video with multiple faces. So I'll refresh this page, drop this clip from Avengers movie as my target file, and drop this face image of President Trump as my source file. In addition to face swapper, I'll also select the face enhancer. In this way, I'll get enhanced face with a natural look. It is selected as a reference already. Then I'll go to the face selector mode. Then as a reference face, I'll select the face image of Captain America since I want only this image to be swapped with Donald Trump's face. Now if I scroll up, 
you can see that the Captain America's face has been swapped with Mr. Trump's face. And if we move this frame, all of the faces are as they were except for Captain America's face. And if I change the face selector mode to many, all of the faces will be swapped with Mr. Trump's face. See, even though the result is not that good because of the different skin tone and face features, but the faces have been swapped. So I'll change it back to reference and select Captain America, then scroll down and hit start. Once the conversion is completed, we'll be able to download this video. Six stones, three teams, one shot. Now it is time to try lip syncing. So I'll stop the conversion and refresh the page. Then drop the video of Will Smith in which he is talking. And for a source file, I'll drop this audio that I generated using 11 labs. Let's select the face enhancer as well. Unmark the face swapper and turn on lip syncer. Now Will Smith will be seeing the words which are present in this audio file. Let's scroll down and start the conversion. You'll be able to download the lip sync video from here. Let's talk lip syncing. It's more than just mimicking words. It's about embodying the essence of every syllable. It's an intricate dance of timing and emotion, a true art form. Let's explore its depths and bring our sync game to a whole new level. Well, well, well. The result was pretty accurate to be honest. Although it did have some glitches, but considering that this tool is free and comparing it to the other tools out there, the result was pretty insane. And with that, I'll conclude this video for today. I hope you got the idea of how things really work and the result quality of this tool through my demos. As for me, I personally really like this tool whether it comes to face swapping or lip syncing because the result it generates is pretty impressive. I did try to cover each and everything in detail so I hope you found this video useful and if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to stay updated with the AI trends.